question, does the church matter? We believe that the local church is the hope of the world. God has established the church and he is going to use the church to reach others with the good news of Jesus. I love that he said, hey, I'm gonna use this gathering of people to come together and then I'm gonna send them out into the world so that we can tell others about the hope we have in Jesus. There's three reasons I think the church is so important. Number one, we get to come together. The Bible says, hey, don't neglect to meet together as it is the habit of some, but come together and encourage one another and all the more as we see the day drawing near. There's two things that we can learn from this verse. This is Hebrews 10, 25. Number one, we get to encourage each other when we come together. And sometimes we just need a little bit of encouragement. The second thing is when we come together, God shows up and he is gonna be encouraging us and he's going to teach us and he's going to send us out into this world. I love that um, the Bible is so practical and it's like, hey, don't forget to meet together, but come together and we get to encourage each other. The second one is we get to use our gifts and talents. Man, we see this example set by Jesus in Mark 10. He came to serve and not to be served. And so God has given each of us gifts and abilities, and his goal is that we would come together and use it in the church to build up the church and to share with other people. The church is made up a lot of different people, and I think that's one of the coolest things is that we get to have different backgrounds. We all have different stories, but we have one common thing, and in, in, we have one thing in common, that God has saved us from our sins and that now we get to live our life in service to him. We believe that the joy of the Christian life is found in serving. And in the church, we provide this opportunity to serve God and to serve others. When we serve others, we're saying, hey, it's not all about me, but it's all about God. And that's a beautiful thing about the church. The third thing is there's nothing quite like the family of God. When we come together, we get to find community. We want to be known and we want to know people. And as a church body, we say, hey, we want to come together and we want to connect you with other people. And we want you to find that community, to be known. We believe that whenever you come together and you're like, hey, I want, I want to find this community, um, God is like, hey, we, I'm going to help you grow in your relationship with me. When we are surrounded by people who are interested in growing in their faith, what happens naturally is we grow in our faith. We get to push each other towards God and we get to say, hey, when you're struggling, I'm going to come alongside you. I'm going to love you. The Bible is so practical. Philippians 2.4 says, hey, don't look out for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. And so when we show up and we say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find community. I'm going to find people that I can serve and I can love. We get to then practically live out what the Bible says. Okay, I'm not going to just think about myself, but I'm going to think about how I can love others and serve others. I think it's so cool that the body of Christ is so diverse and we get to come together and we get to tell other people, hey, you have a place here at church. God has a plan for you and we get to be a part of this beautiful thing called the church.